took a monkey mischief classroom. Uh, one thing I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about was processing time. Um, this is what we call wait time, and this is this goes for typical kids. It goes for uh, students with special needs. Um, age uh, plays a big role in this. But um, allowing your student wait time to process what is being asked is really important without like constantly repeating yourself. Um, one thing I've had to um, really work on with my staff was if I say something, don't repeat it. You know, this isn't a game of like who said it first or let's see how many times we could say the same thing. Um, you have to give the child time to process what you have asked them to do. Um, so you wait and you allow them that time to process. So that's why we call it wait time. Um, and uh, what often will happen if you give directions and then you don't give the wait time and you give the direction again the student now has mixed up, even though it's the same directions, has heard a couple of the words and was trying to, you know, understand what was being asked. Now you're throwing in the sentence again, and now they've mixed up the words um, and now really don't know what they're supposed to do. So it confuses them. Um, or if you say something and the child is trying to process and then you say it in a different way, you've now mixed them up completely. So it's important when you do give direction that you give them time to process what is being asked. Um, and this could go anywhere from a minute to three minutes to process, depending on your child. It could even mean it takes them five minutes to process what you're asking. I've um, had students where I was assessing them and so in the assessment I could I only had a certain amount of time um, so I you know asked a question the child appeared not to answer it um, although I could tell they were processing it I had to move on because it was an assessment and then five minutes later the child went back you know made me go back and pointed to the correct answer um, because the whole time I was asking questions, they were processing that. And because I kept asking different questions, I kept stopping the child from fully understanding that first initial question. And so he kept having to refer, but go back and think. Um, and then eventually, five minutes later, he was like, ah, I know the answer, go back. Um, so you really want to allow them that time to process. Um, and not interrupt them. Um, I've waited 45 minutes for an answer. Um, it could vary depending on the the information you're asking them and how much thinking is required. If it's a critical thinking activity, it could take long. And that's what it was. It was a critical thinking activity. And he really had to think outside the box to be able to answer it. And it took it the child 45 minutes and I sat there and I waited but I got the answer in the end so patience is a virtue um, that you must have um, but definitely um, give them that time and I promise you you will be amazing